Hi everybody, it's Jeannie from Gardening Jones. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about growing carrots. Here's my carrot bed. Looks a little like it needs to be weeded. It got some weeding this morning. And we'll get a little bit more later. It's gonna rain today, so the carrots, the weeds will just be coming right back anyway. But um, there's a couple different ways to grow carrots. They're pretty easy. They're just very particular right in the beginning. You can just go like toss some carrot seeds in there. You'll have to do some thinning, which I will have to do also. Um, that's the simplest. You can use seed tapes, but I have found that um, they seem to take longer to grow, to get started. But if you're not in a hurry and you have a long enough season, I will put a link to how to make your own seed tapes um, in the comments below. Uh, the best way i found, and I've done it this year, and I've done it at the garden at work, was to, my work, was to, um, no, I don't do this for a living, <laughs> um, but I do have a garden at my job. The best way was to mix the seeds in with some sand. I still probably overplanted here. Um, you can see they're fairly close together, but I'll wait till they get bigger and then we'll see, and if need be, I will, with broken heart, pull some out and toss them. Um, if they're big enough, I'll eat them. Small carrots and baby carrots are two completely different things, which I'll talk about another time. The hardest part about carrots is that you have to keep them moist to get the seeds to pop up. Um, you pretty much have to make sure they get watered or rained on every day until they start coming up. Some people will put a wet board down and keep them moist that way. My husband's retired, so he was just watering them. I feel like I should probably weed while I'm taping. <laughs> I can't just stand here and do this. Um, but uh, he just watered them. It's, it, I mean, it's really not that difficult to do it if you have the time. If you don't have the time, that could be more problematic. A sprinkler would work just fine. Um, I am getting ready to try to cage these in a little bit. We've had a young buck come fearlessly into the garden and walk up. He was eating the day lilies, which they love but he could just wipe this garden out in a couple of minutes if he gets this far. So I will be building a little bit of a tech. I have some, a screen there that these were originally, all this is, and we need to weed back, but all this is were a number of wooden frames that we had <clears throat> for some raised beds that we built that we completely enclosed. And I just took the uh, chicken wire off of these and laid one on top of the other. They're just stacked. They're not anything. So there'll be some soil loss, but it was a very quick and easy way to make a raised bed. Now, what I want to talk to you about is perennial vegetables. Carrots are biennial. That means they produce their taproot the first year. And if they're allowed to survive the winter, if they can survive the winter, they will produce seeds the next year. You can theoretically grow carrots, plant them once, grow them forever. I did do that once before with parsnips. I will also put a link to those posts. Um, it was a parsnip disaster and explosion is probably a better word. There was parsnips everywhere. I left too many in the ground and too close to the edge of the bed. So this year I'm going to try it with the carrots. Just leave one or two in the ground and the centermost, which really <laughs> there's not a whole lot in the center, but maybe some more will come up or whatever. But whatever's in the center, I'll leave one or two. I'm going to cover them with hay. Carrots are not quite as hardy as parsnips, so I don't know if they'll make it. I have seen carrots um, come up in beds that were left. You can't eat them. I've seen it done. I've seen, it happened at my job, but my job is about four degrees. Sorry about the traffic. It's about four or five degrees warmer, so um, and it's a raised bed much higher up too. So it did happen. We didn't let them go to seed because we were planting something else, but we'll see. And I'll keep you up to date. This is um, a number of different kinds of carrots, different colors, not uh, not rainbow carrots. They're, they're, they're actually different um, varieties of carrots. There are some carrots that they come up different colors, but they're all the same carrot. So um, you can plant those. I like the variety because they mature at different times, and I like the way they look on my plate, too. So I'll keep you up to date, and happy gardening. Enjoy your day. Bye.